Supervisor Jeff Taggart. Present were Garrett Sitz, David Grant, Dwight Bruno, Donnie Smith, Paul Warner, and Mark Lang. The minutes were read from January 3rd, 2017 meeting. Garrett Sitz made a motion to, ex to accept the minutes as read. David Grant seconded and all agreed. Southern Tier Solar Works gave a slide presentation about community shared solar. There's a copy of the presentation in the clerk's office, and I do have two with me tonight if anybody wants them. Um, they believe that the location would be ideal for a small solar farm. The main concern is overall cost, which they estimate around $1.5 million. Another issue is if it would really save money for the consumers. James Seward sent a letter to the town. They have voiced their concern about the landline phone service in the area. The board needs to go into executive session regarding employment. The planning board met on February 2, 2017. American Ginseng Pharma gave a brief presentation. The biggest concern is the possible water usage. They say they are willing to work with the hamlet if any issues arise in the future. The rec committee met last night. If anyone is interested in being a lifeguard, call Joanna Jones. David Grant made a motion to go into executive session at 9.05 p.m. regarding employment. Donnie Smith seconded the motion and all agreed. Donnie Smith made a motion to go out of executive session at 9.40. Garrett Sitch seconded the motion and all agreed. With nothing further to come before the board, the meeting was adjourned at 9.40. Any additions or corrections? We'll have a motion to approve. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Garrett. Okay, Dave. Yeah, not an awful lot to report. Okay. Things are pretty quiet this time of year. Yeah. Um, just if you want, uh, I did get a, our 2016 report from Morgan Stanley. Uh, the rate of return for 2016 was 8.4% for the account. Well, a net gain of $28,055 for the year as, the, as income. Uh, the current balance as of February 1st was $943,000 in the uh, trust account, plus the checking account was around $23,000, give or take the last few checks. Uh, the only thing to report about the uh, school building, the former school building, right. is that uh, we have moved the center into the new area, but there's still going to be some construction, so things are going to kind of be on hold for a while, but until that gets done. Because they're going to make an outside entrance, right? right yeah, they're, they're, they're going to put a sidewalk on the side of the building, and uh, we already have access keys to those two rooms we'll have, have there, and they're going to block off the end hallway. So we'll basically have a small wing of the building that right. we'll be leasing. And they have told us that uh, they're going to let us lease for the same amount of money as previously, so we'll just have to get a lease written up. We're going to try for a five-year lease. Thank you. Any questions for Dave? Have they actually started working there yet, Dave? Do you know? They brought some furniture into the main area where they're going to have their display things. I know they've done presentations to the town planning board and right. about their construction. Yeah. And I stuff. thought they're going to try to be starting here in Marcus. Well, I think I talked to Eva a couple of days ago. She was down there. There's a uh, I know they're waiting for a permit from the FDA to do something. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but that takes a little longer than the town does. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> and we did get response from the county highway department, the uh, state, on the speed limit up here. Uh, they're going to reduce it to 45, which is an improvement from Douglas Hall Road down to with a 30 mile an hour limit. From Douglas Hall? From du that's what I'm reading anyway. Wow. Um, 
Good. You really shouldn't go much faster than that anyway. <laughs> well, probably not. Yeah. It's about the maximum keeping up. If it's not marked, it's 55, right? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, after considering the road roadside friction development geometry of the roadway, the engineer determined 45 was an appropriate speed limit. And notice of order 1112.18D establishes 45 miles an hour as the maximum speed limit between the current 30 mile an hour speed limit in Douglas Hall Road, a distance of 1.2 miles plus. Or more. So it's all the way up to Douglas Hall Road. So they, we did get a response, and that's what their findings were. Okay? Thanks. Yep. <coughs> Thank them, because they're the ones that did the work. We just planted the seed, and they fertilized it and grew. Okay. Um, <coughs> is there anything from the Brick Committee? Uh, the meeting tonight. Oh, the meeting tonight. Okay. Oh, the 14th. 14th. Next Tuesday. Second Tuesday. Or second Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Hopefully it's working well. Jamie? Yep. Okay. Okay. I don't think I got any emails. Oh, the guy's got all shit. There's four things. Um, next month we're going to have the bids. Mark, let me just remind you of the opening. Plus, we're going to bid gravel again. I don't know how he's going to like the specs and stuff like that. So I have that. Um, before next month's meeting, we'll need to get a broom in here, just like we always do. Uh, usually the last week of March, somewhere in there. The same company, Avely, has the cheapest one again this year. Same price, nothing's changed. Um, I did call around to some other places just to see, and they're still beating them all. No, that's probably on a bid process anyway, right? There, I don't think that is on the county's bid, okay. the broom. But right, I, don't know if it is. I can't remember if it is, but they still beat them. So right. Right. Um, yeah. they haven't changed the prices in a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. so, same, no trucking, so we'll have to pick it up right. just right. just like I always do. So. Right. Yep. Yep. So I don't okay. know if you want to do a approval for that or. How does the board feel about the broom again this year? Yeah. If you're in favor, we need a motion to rent the broom. Rent the broom. Well, the broom. One month. Yeah, the broom. At the, it's the same cost as it was last right. year, 22 or 22. 22 50. 22 50. Yep. So, so we have a, a motion. We have a second. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Carried. We'd also like to wrap uh, another boom tractor to try and get caught up on some of these roads. Um, just the same type of mower like we have. Ours is getting undependable. Uh, I kind of classify it as an old sewing wheel. You work to ride it for one day and you work on it for a week. Fun rides. Same thing, I called around a bunch of different companies. There is no bid on that. Even now. Um, same company, Ably, has one for about 900 bucks cheaper than everybody else. Comes in at 4500 a month. Uh, no trucking, we'd have to pick it up. Uh, the next bid was 5400 and the third one was 6200 um, All relatively comparable machines. And that's it. Is it going to cap? So you can yep, drive full it and run it and full full drive. drive. Yeah, if it's rain, it's, it's actually a, a, an old state right. machine. Yeah. So there's one that's it's all spec'd out for, for them. Four wheel yep. drive? Yep. So it's in a month. You'd like to do it April and May. April and May. And then 4,500 for both months? Yes. For each, each month, I'm sorry. <clears throat> So it's nine, 45. So it'll be nine grand for two months? Yep. Hmm. I would like to see it used one month and see, see how much we can get done. We got 160 hours of work. Yeah, I mean, with a cab, you should be able to put yeah, 40, 40 to eight on There's no sense renting it and not using it. Especially if it's got the cab, you know, it can be used and 
four, four weeks straight should get a lot of yeah. brush cutting done. So I would, I would myself would think one month would be enough. That's well, try it one month your, and go your other one. ones. You can use it though, right? Yes, yeah, so try planning on using them in conjunction together. So as long as the other one holds together, I'll use the other one as long as it. As you said, yellow. You know, right. The yellow one's gonna be the backup. Huh? Right. If we rent one, we want the rental yeah, one. Yeah, the will be going. To use and the yellow one like works. We'll go that. Two guys out there running them together. So mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. what the plan is. So. What what usually breaks on the old one? Name anything. Just <laughs> it's, it's the just, boom is old. old so. yeah, we've rebuilt the boom on it numerous times. Gearboxes, hoses, over and over again. Uh, bearings, I mean, yeah, I mean, you name it. Use it, yeah. It wears, it wears. That's all there is to it. I think that was purchased back in the 80s, maybe? maybe mid 80s. <coughs> yeah, so it's yeah. been around a while. But yeah, it has. Been yeah. Been yeah. But I, I think something that well, this was actually the John Deere dealer spoke of. And that's seen about getting towns to work together, you know, buying a, let's say, a boom tractor and sharing it between two or three towns. Because realistically, that can be used in the wintertime, almost the best time of the, I mean, the only, you don't have snow days. The only downside I could see with that is somebody's got to be the, the main purchaser and responsible for it. And it's such a high wear item that breaks very easily. It's not one of them things mm -hmm. you want to loan it out to right. somebody too often. I mean, that, that was, he actually brought that up. This was some towns were trying, I think. Mm -hmm. Which would be, might be interesting. Broom would be a better fit for it than the brush more, I would think. It, <coughs> well, the broom is, it abuse it pretty easily. Yeah, but the broom yeah. is April. <laughs> yeah. That's when you want the broom. That's most the main, of the most of the time. I mean, we could utilize one Which most you do, of the summer. So. You do often on during the summer, you borrow the, <coughs> get it the, the counties county. and some of the other towns we yep. swap off with. Yeah. And, you uh, still going to want to run a grader and next to it? Probably. So what's what's the thought on the, the you know, two months for the boom? Right. Oh, I agree with the month. Yeah, one more. We'll see what you can get done. 100, 160 hours. Is a lot of... Well, the next board meeting would be before that month was up, so... Right. They can talk about it again. They would then, if we decide to go. So you get, right yeah, yeah, get that right along with you, or wait till April. What's that? Get that right along, or wait till April. What I would do is pick that up the same time I got the broom, put them both on the same load. That way, I'm only making one trip. One trip, right? Right. Okay. This should fit on the trailer. Right. So we have a motion. So one motion. Try it for a month. A second. One second. One second. All in favor? Aye. 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 One other thing I have is the air compressor in our shop mm -hmm. is, we've been having a lot of problems with it. We've rebuilt it quite a few times. So we've priced out some new ones comparable <coughs> to what's there right now. Mm -hmm. And I've got quotes here and like that. From, I got them from four different places. Um, that's oh, yeah. <laughs> <By the farm. laughs> but we have three phases at the shop, so we had to get. Yeah, but you don't have to run it three phases. Just because yeah. you have, just I, you have three phases. We just phase. priced out what was what we had. Right. What right. it's hooked up there. So. But I think you can still run it on. Two twenty. Two twenty or two hundred eight. Two hundred eight. You know, I mean. I don't know how much air you need. I mean, I, I really don't know, but seven thousand dollars for an air compressor is a lot of. The biggest thing is getting the, the volume to get the pressure. So those are all one hundred fifty pound, eighty gallon. So Thirteen thousand. That one is through uh, the place that they bought the compressor from before. Okay. We gave all them other three the exact same compressor. And mm -hmm. we told those people, gave them the same numbers, that's what they were supposed to quote us. They said that they couldn't get that. This is what they would get. So they, no, I mean, we're not even considering any of that. So, right. 
try to. Those other ones are all the no, same. Like you said, you, 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 and, you and he were going to Binghamton. Yeah, we went down last month. Thought they would have something there to look at and ask questions, but they were. So there. these are 80 gallon? 80 gallon, 150 pounds, um, 34 CFM. I didn't see that. Um, they had the dryer system hooked right into it just to get rid of all the moisture. Paint. Well, not just for paint, but just for all the air tools. So you're not putting that moisture into the lines all the time. You don't have that now? No, nope, we have nothing. Yeah, just the issues. Yeah, we've gone we, through we multiple. We buy a those. lot of air tools because of the moisture. Hmm. How much is the air system? That's a couple grand. That's included in the price there. Right. With that, if you take that out. That's probably three grand, thirty-five hundred, just for the air system. I think the way they list it out, it just says total air system. Yeah. So this is the one we have is still working. It is, no. but it runs constantly. Because it doesn't have any possible. Recovery. It's possible fire. It's a fire hazard, so then turning it off. The and, seals you know, are leaking seals. oil, and we just Billy's rebuilt it so many times now. It's just not mm -hmm. worth it. So yeah, I don't know, the CFMs. I mean, thirty-three CFMs. That's kind of all right. and that's just to be able to run them bigger air guns and stuff, and right. uh, you know, blow up the big tires. And that yeah, was they all. Uh, 150 pounds is the max pressure most any compressor will put out. Most yeah, they'll shut off at 100. Right, most of them. Um, I've looked at some of the ones like at, say, like Central Tractor. Some of those ones go up to 125. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, the one I did look at over there, they had a card hanging right off the side of it. It said we'll run up to half inch air tools. That's it, and we're running three quarters and eight guns yeah. most of the time, so. Mm -hmm. What kind of warranty would you get on this? Uh, there's a year warranty on it. So. I know the, the school had purchased one not too long ago, and they had some issues, and Ingersoll themselves came right out and took care of it. And I think that's what most of these companies do. They just call up the, the reps right there and they handle all that mm -hmm. stuff. Compressor. Ten. Ten. Yep. Now is it a three phase? I'm just asking, is it three phase more money than a single phase? It's a better motor. Pardon? It's a better motor. They last longer. Right. And they don't run. They're typically cheaper a three phase motor than a to run. No, to buy. Yeah. They don't have capacity. cheaper to run. Yeah. It's cheaper to run, too. So. so where did the school get theirs? They yeah. got theirs through Fastenal. Fastenal. Yeah. I didn't get a price from them because we just have a lot of issues with that place. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. That was it Ingersoll ran? Yes. Also? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I can call them and get a price from them if you'd right. like, but. Uh. Okay. Well, whatever the board wants to do. And that compressor was put in there I think, when they built the shop. Right. Uh, 1987, they built the building. It's got 30 years on it. They have them sometimes on the military surplus. Right? I, I've never seen the compressors, but I mean, it could be. I have gas powered ones, or diesel powered. They have electric ones too, don't they? They might. Uh, there's an option to them. I'll tell you what, for the 
this month and go from there and you want to go so the, the pump itself actually gets hot from yeah. running so long. Yeah. You shut it off when you're every <clears throat> night. Every night. <laughs> Make sure you shut it off though. Mm -hmm. Is Northern Hydraulic so? I, I remember when I was looking for a compressor. Do they? Do they get them that big? I don't know. I see them in there. I don't know. I don't know. It does seem like a lot of money, though, yeah. for an air compressor to pull up tires and take tires. Well, out. it's it's a big jump. I mean, it's just like you know, you get a 60 gallon from tractor supply. You know, they run 150 pounds and. You know, 60 gallon, but you're not talking of one inch impact right. wrench and right. stuff like that. So recovery time, I'm sure, is not there. And you had another 20 gallons of storage, so that yep. adds a lot too. Just the storage alone is huge. But, um, I think a lot of it is the drying system. A lot of the price in there. So. Mm -hmm. What's that? The yes. Yeah, all that's all. Okay. Yeah, they just call it a total air system. Oh, okay. Okay. You said the dryer is about one thousand dollars. Part of that, or? I think it's about like three to three five hundred. So I believe so. Does that mean it's got an oiler? If it's the total air system with the dryer and an oiler, or is the oiler separate? I think that's all part of it too. Yeah, so, so too. The oiler for the impact wrenches and stuff. For me. Four different companies here, so yeah, okay. yeah. all the same three one, though, right? Three Except three. for that one company that right. thought they said this is what you need, this is what I can get you. Right. No, that was the thirteen thousand dollars big one. So, right. so essentially, two the other companies three, you're in three. No, three companies they're actually are three separate. Yep. They don't. Yep. Okay. through Cook Brothers. <coughs> Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have a place for quarters if I stop? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. 
They'll make a place. You can make a spot for you to throw money in, so that's no problem. <laughs> Call the but with inflation, the right? quarter's not worth much anymore. That's true. It's fine. I'm grabbing those five quarters. How much is it in Marabinos? In, in Delhi, I stopped the other day because I had a tire soft on the mm -hmm. truck. Cost five quarters, $1.25 for four minutes. Ooh. So if you think how long that runs and you charge, you know, a right. dollar twenty five every four minutes, it'll pay for itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay. I know a few people that are, you know, in gas station business, relatives and that type of money they do spend on their compressors, they make their living with it. So okay. I don't know how many mechanics you got going. They got two or two or three mechanics going. So. Right. Well if you got two or three as you said, two or three different air tools going yeah. at once. Yeah. That can just right. need the capacity. Oh, yeah. Capacity for the air tools. Okay, so I move to buy the okay, we have a motion seventy one to take the low bid. How much was that? That's seventy one seventy one seventy nine. Seventy one seventy nine. You guys can install it, right? Or? Yeah. I'll second it. Any other discussions? All in favor? Aye. Passed. Yeah. That's it. Four for four. Well, <laughs> <laughs> three and a half, actually. Oh, yeah, only got one more. Thank you, Jamie. Mark Brown. It's going to get tougher every month now. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, there was nothing at the planning board this month. We thought there was going to be a couple people there, but we just had a half hour visitation, is all it was. So nobody showed up. 